Well, hello guys. I hope you had a good weekend. We're here to uh, do us another little chat on Facebook. I'm going to be moving these over to YouTube by the end of the week. Um, and I'll still post and post you a link, so don't worry about that. But um, I've been told it's easier to upload and it'll save us having to transfer uh, all the videos over because, you know, I've been keeping a running tab on YouTube. So anyway, uh, you'll still find me here this week and then, but just know that, that we're going to switch over by the end of the week. Okay, so I got an email over the weekend uh, asking me to backtrack just a little bit. What I found out is that I missed in my postings, uh, you know, during that whole time when I was doing them myself, the, um, a post on week two bids and a post on preempts. Those are two things that we didn't cover, uh, or at least they think we didn't, and I can't remember doing them. So here we go. First one we're going to do is a preemptive bid. Now, a week two bid is a type of preemptive bid, but it's a little bit different. So when we talk about preemptive bids, I'm talking about a, and I'll spell preemptive for you, and you know how to do it, I'm sure. We're typically talking about a six quarter longer suit. It's a good suit, a suit I played two of the top three on it. And I'm pretty rigid about my preempts. You'll find a lot of people kind of willy nilly with it. They do it anytime they have a seven quart suit. They don't care how good it is. Um, they don't worry about a lot of other things. I'm very specific. And as we go through this week and I talk about how the partner of the preemptor bids after a preempt's made, I think you'll understand why. I mean, I'm, I really think you need to have a structured bid. If you don't want to make it two of the top three honors, if you want to make it three of the top five honors or something like that, that's okay with me. But you and partner need to have a really firm agreement about the strength of the preempt and what your hand's going to look like when you preempt. It does make a little bit of difference whether you've passed originally, and it makes a little bit of difference whether your partner has passed. And it makes a little bit of difference who's vulnerable. So there's things that come into play, but this is a general preempt, okay? Might cover some of those bits and pieces of it towards the end of the week. So preemptive bids, a six card suit or more longer, two of the top three honors. And uh, typically you would not have a four card major on the side. Okay, the strength is usually less than the opening hand, or it not usually, is less than the opening hand. And I play that I will not have an ace or a king in another suit in my hand when I preempt. So you can see I am I'm pretty structured. So this is what a preempt might look like. I have seven spades, I have the ace, the queen, the jack, and seven spades. So I have a good seven card suit. Excuse me, I said six plus card suit. This is supposed to be seven, excuse me. I have a seven card suit, it's a good one. I do not have four cards in another major. I do have two of the top three. As a matter of fact, I have three of them, of the top five. And I have no ace or king in another suit. And what you do is you open that suit at a higher level. And that's a, a key to partner that you have a weak hand with a good long suit. Basically, the message that you're saying is if my suit is trumps, I can probably win a lot of tricks. But if my suit's not trumps, don't look to me for taking a lot of tricks. I'm not going to take any. Everything I have is right here. So the way it works is with the seven card suit, you open at the three level. So for instance, on this hand, we would open three spades. With an eight card suit, like you'll, like you'll have an eight card suit, you open at the four level. Okay. And with a nine card suit, you could open at the five level. 
Now, when we talk about with a nine card suit opening at the five level, we're really talking about a minor suit. You typically would not open five hearts or five spades, right? You're just going to open them at the four level. The good thing about a preempt is it can be um, an opening bid or it can be an overcall. Okay? But it still follows these rules. What happens if you have a king outside? Well, you still got that seven card suit, don't you? Do you know that? I just opened one. I would open one spade. Because that hand, I think, is good enough for an opening bid. All right, so a preempt. Seven card suit at least. Two of the top three honors. No ace or king in another suit. Typically, no four card major. And you might ask, well, gosh, that feels really spooky. Why would I do that? Why would I open three spades when all I have is this long suit and I don't have any high card points? I have to have 12 points to open at one, but I can open three. I can open three with seven points. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so this is the idea. Think of it um, like a preemptive strike. Okay? What you are trying to do is you know that if your suit is trumps, you can probably take a lot of tricks. You know you don't have a very strong hand. So if your hand's not strong, what about the opponent's hands? They probably have some points, right? And if you have shortness in all the other suits, don't they probably have some length in the other suits, right? Your hand is not valuable if your suit's not trumps. So the whole idea is, is I'm hoping I might even just be able to steal the, the auction from the opponents or at least make it really, really hard for them to figure out where to play. It's like uh, getting your suit in before they have a chance to talk and hopefully disrupting their ability to communicate with each other. All right, so we'll have some more tomorrow and I'll see you later. Bye.